Right, welcome back to Sheepfish Productions and today we're going to give a quick rundown on the Colt Python in 177. pistol branded by Colt so Colt is involved uh, takes pellets and BBs the little steel 177 BBs what both at once no you got two separate mags so you can't um, basically you ought to do a little accuracy test we also got a comment on a previous video um, wanting to know if you put sights like red dot or something on it you can't but the magic of a 3D printer, we might be able to put something together. So, all depends on my design capabilities. Yeah. Um, I'm like going to try anyway, even if I was a prototype. Yeah. Um, so that'd you'll be interesting. Just have to subscribe if you like the idea of that. And uh, what we're going to do, do an accuracy test. My pistol skills aren't the best, so we'll see what happened there. But we're going to start off with pellets and then go on to BBs. Uh, they come with two different mags. So let me just take this one out. Explain that white writing as well, Daz, because that's your own handiwork. Oh yeah, I customised it myself, so... Because yeah. you don't get none of this filled in, but if you, say, get a Colt Python, a real one, a real 50, 357, um, that would all be inlaid with white and stuff, so I thought... Makes it look a hell of a lot better, yeah. don't it? You know, so yeah, it was uh, looking a bit plain Jane when I, was, yeah. uh, when I first had it. So, the way you can tell you magazines, uh, your pallet one is metal and your BB one is plastic so it's an easy way you'll soon feel the weight in them so if you just slide that in there's a little switch there and then I just rotate it because it's got a detent so that'll you'll feel it click in and then you know it's ready to go safety is there just flip that forward and can't move nothing Alright, let's get shooting dice. So, yeah. Fully adjustable rear sight, up and down, sideways. Yeah, front one's fixed. I did, I did have a little go on it early and fiddle with it, that was yeah. sort of all on one side, so... Dad's might not necessarily be a shit shooter, because I've been fiddling with the sides. The problem is, you've got a, a black back thing and, a, post and a, a black front post, so it's quite hard to... To like get everything, so I might actually highlight the, the, the rear post and then a different colour on the front just so I can get a better gauge because it just all looks like one big black block um, when it's all together. But we'll see. So I'm going to shoot single action and uh, more accurate that way, yeah, yeah, because you aren't, Cause you're not getting the double pull, you aren't getting the trigger pull where yeah. you, you can. Like tweak the gun. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do? Quite windy as well today, yeah. so um, hope there's not too much wind noise on the audio. What I'm going to do, I'm just every single shot. I'm just going to aim for the centre dot yep. for your bullseye, and uh, then see where the whole group is, how, how the group is as a whole. So. You got to do it freehand, or did you want to lean on the no, bar freehand? Free yeah. yeah. So what are you going for? The centre dot? No, I'm going top left. All right. Right off to the edge of that target? Yeah, more on the left edge, yeah. As long as we can see where they go and that's definitely in there. Yeah, that's the same spot. Maybe give it a tweak with that Allen key and. Oh no, this, this will still give us the results. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, 
Right, so what we got here was a group roughly on online but slightly to the left and uh, when they don't try BBs definitely have glasses on shooting BBs. Yes. And the BBs could have that way feed it in so they don't all fall out. Once I send you, you ain't got to worry about that now. So then, ready to go. I think one just fell out. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've fallen out, look, watch this. Zoom into the front of the gun. Right, so I'm going to twist. See that? No, do it again. Oh, I've got some actually decent Oh, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Damn, that's not good, is it? No. So what is that then? Is that the? They different? just weren't seated in properly. For some reason, these ones are. So oh, right. Let me try and figure that one out. Yeah. Okay. BBs all loaded, Des. Yeah. You had two different brands there, didn't you? A bit yeah. of a problem. We've got ones that are sitting in there that I think properly because they're held in. Yeah. But these, I think, are slightly too big. And right. the uh, Remington. Yeah. And the other ones, I think the mill broke. Right. Well, that's handy because you can blame your poor shooting on top of yeah. can't you? Yeah. <laughs> like you do with your eyes all the Exactly, mate. Exactly. That's, that's, that's a disability worth having. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Don't, shit. don't use Remington BBs. These are the ones I'm using. Are they Remington now? Yeah, these oh, are. They are. And they're getting stuck, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah the tolerances on them are slightly too big. Yeah, that's weird, aren't they? Yeah. So. Oh. so Alright. Oh, oh you've got some. Yeah, I've got some. Alright, so what we've done, we changed the manufacturer of pellets, we went from the Remingtons to the SNKs and they fit in there perfectly. You just rest them on the top and then just push them in with your thumb or your finger and they slide in lovely. So what we're going to now do is retry that test um, with these ones. Right, let's hope we get some uh, splatter target splatter on this time. He zoomed on in there. Yeah, I zoomed in on that, on the second one on the left. Range cam is on. I think straight away though, Dave, you can see that pellets are more accurate. Right, so this is shooting the pellets, uh, the BBs, high and left. So, to be fair, both groups are on the same line, so once I tweak in my rear sights, um, it's basically an inch or two inch rise with the BBs, because obviously the pellets are a lot heavier. They've actually got spin on them as well, um, which I was surprised how accurate the group is for the for the BBs. But this barrel is rifled, so mm -hmm. that's probably helping a little bit. 
But yeah, they're still all over the place. I might have pulled a couple of shots because we're just crap at pistols, but... So, all I'd say is that shoots both reasonably well for, for a shooting in your garden. And uh, I think we should let Nate talk about what he's going to try and do with this. Okay, so um, we've had a viewer ask questions about um, can this take a red dot sight or any sort of other sight and the, the, the strict answer is no. Uh, but with a bit of 3D printing designing, which I can now do myself, um, and that's got this sort of ridge on top, give us a bit of meat, put something on. Um, haven't decided yet exactly what I'm going to do in design. Obviously that's going to have to clip on from the top here because you've got your lever to release your um, magazine. So, um, yeah, leave it with me. Uh, hopefully, maybe within the next week I'll um, have time to come up with something, print some prototypes and perhaps show you. Um, what I will probably stick on it is the old um, 10 quid Chinese reflex sight. 10 quid red dot, which, um, you know, we can get that sitting on there. Uh, let's just switch it on and see what that looks like. Um, yeah, actually, that does look pretty good in in on the camera. Yeah, that look good, doesn't it? Um, if we can get that on there uh, somehow, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know if this screw in here come out, maybe take that yeah, off. Yeah, no, I don't want to be fucking with you don't my ass. Like, no, no one does. That's a design <laughs> instruction already. He didn't want to be fucking with his sides, so uh, We'll have to come up with something to clip on the top here, maybe. Or maybe slide it down. Yeah. I don't know. I'd, um, I'd have something on that rib. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, just something I do want to show you, which I have designed for this already. And uh, that is... Um, is that easy loading? So, what I'm going to do... Is that the BB mag in the minute, guys? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, what I'll do, I'll just show you how this works. Um, so, inside, we've got a pallet pusher. We've got a little bit that sits in the middle of the magazine. You don't have to use that, and that's got a pallet pusher on the end as well. But you get a pallet stuck in the middle hole, so I just made that bit if that, if that annoy you. So um, what I'll do, I'll show you how this works. Okay, so um, I'm just going to put the lid to one side. What I will do, actually, I'll just put some pallets in there, so I don't spill your whole tin if I spill them. Get your mag with the ratchet and socket facing upwards, so that sits in there flat. It's got a thumb finger hole on the side, so basically put your finger over the hole, stop any pellets falling out, and chip in some pellets, give it a shake, tip the excess pellets out. Now, if you look at that, how quick that filled, okay, there's one empty. I will just fill that by hand. If I would just shook it for a couple of seconds longer. So there we have it. That's how quick that take to fill them all up. Yeah. Pallet pusher. And this has, I forgot to put the bit in the middle. Um, but to be honest, for how long that take, you might as well just let that pallet sit in the middle and tip it out when you tip the mag out. So tip the mag out, get the pallet out of the middle hole. One magazine ready to go. Ten Lock seconds roll. That. So um You might as well empty it now you've loaded it. Actually, yeah. So um that's my shoot fish productions. Umex speed loader. Um, I will have that up for sale at some point, so um, if you're interested. And th these are actually excellent guns, so um, I'll tell you what I am going to do, Daz, if you don't mind, mm. just tweak that sight a bit because yeah. I think they're shooting left. So, um, very simple. Allen key, just twist it, it that way. Uh, the up and down is fine. So, um, I'm going to use uh, single action. Safety off. Um, Rotate the cylinder first just to make sure that's on. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to go for well, the same time you did because you didn't really hit it that much, did you? No. Yeah. I'm not hearing that. It's not a bit at all. Then. I think that's 
see it. No, that was, there was one in it. Yep, that's it. Yeah. So if the arm come down, I'm just going to go and inspect the little group in there and uh, yeah. yeah. So that's the Colt Python 35.357, uh, Magnum, CTG, whatever. Uh, that is customised uh, white writing, uh, you send the speed loader. Hopefully, next time you see it, it's going to have uh, red dot sight on it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>